In our previous videos, we have seen the usage of resources, configuring the resources and adding those resource configuration in the permissions using this create resource based permissions. There is something called scope based permission. To have these scope based permissions, we need to add some scopes over here. First, let's understand how can we use these scopes configuration using one of the example. Suppose apart from creating a restaurant, we also want to give the flexibility to update a restaurant since create and update will have the same REST API path over here. I'm not adding any other paths to update the restaurant. The authorization configuration will be same for both of these functionalities. Let's try to start the application and see if that is the case. Meanwhile, if you see here, this is the create restaurant resource, this one, and the policy for that is create restaurant policy, which is a role based policy, which needs the user to have admin role. The permission create restaurant permission will just map these two. So resources and the policies. Now that server has started. Let's see here, authorize admin. and authorize since admin is logged in he must have the access let's try to create a new restaurant and since admin is logged in he has the access or he has the permission to create a restaurant the new rest api or the functionality we have added is update and let's see spices just to update so he is able to update as well because the same configuration which is provided over here is applicable to both of the resources create or update now let us consider that we want the admin to create the restaurant but the owner has the authorization to update the restaurant for that what we can do is we have to use the scope based configuration and also here keycloak provides scope based configuration with a vast flexibility but we are going to use http method based scopes over here for that what we need to do is we need to create the scopes first here yeah, scopes do not have let me create post and you need not to give any other thing just the name is enough and you can see that i am giving the name in the capital letters if you use the small letters it's not going to work so the post request save similarly i'll create the others as well as we have these scopes over here this resource let's rename this create update and authorization scopes will be post and put because we want to give the flexibility for create as well as update save we have the resource over here and create restaurant policy we are not going to change because admin will be the creator let's create a policy for date restaurant policy and owner save now here we need to recreate this permission because there is no specification of the scopes and we are configuring the scope based rest api permissions over here let me delete this delete create now you can see that this scope based permission is enabled because we have scopes defined create restaurant permission and the resource is create update restaurant resource you can see you have the option of authorization scopes and for this we need post and the policy is create restaurant policy and save another scope update restaurant permission resource is still same authorization scope here is put and policy is update restaurant policy Now this configuration here we just have a single resource for both create and update. We are adding the authorization scopes for this resource. Then we also have separate 
policies and permissions and if you see the policies only admin can create the restaurant and only owner can update the restaurant and to enable this http based scopes in quarkus you need to add one property this is the property quarkus key clock permission http method as scope should be true and let's restart e reload authorize I'm logging in with admin which means he has the access to create but not update authorize and let me just i'm just creating a dummy just to see if admin has the access to create here you go it has access and it has created a new let's see if he he can update try and You'll see it's forbidden for the admin. Let's log in using Amar because Amar is the owner. Let me just show you that as well. Users Amar role mapping. He's the owner. Amar authorize and the update should be possible now. Let me execute and there you go. But does he have the access to create let's see host here yeah, it's forbidden so using the scopes defined over here here and adding those information to the resource as well as to the permissions we can achieve this but there is one catch over here let me show you we have something called list order resource which is this one and uh, list order resource is accessible by managers who is the manager over here i think suresh is the manager here let's log in and check if he is able to access it suresh authorize this one anyhow we do not have any data it should give empty as the response but it says forbidden and the reason is once you enable this http scope based configurations the scopes should be added to every resource that is being created over here else it will not work or it will work in a weird manner here you have list order resource that what i'm going to do is i'm going to add get request because this is the get request and get save execute and you'll see the response 200 is received which means you need to add the authorization scopes to each of these resources which have been created if you want to use the scopes configuration that's it for this video thanks for watching